That's snowboarding's oldest trick is the turn. And I think that especially lately it goes super overlooked. So the line is taking this as slow as possible, hitting this first pillow right underneath, landing on the shelf, and then trying to dump all the speed. How you doing, Yosh? Okay, I'm gonna just start strapping in then. You know, really cranking out that back leg and making sure your hips are squared. Drop! A lot of the athletes and pro snowboarders these days have grown up out on the west coast riding the good powder. Me and Jake came from Vermont and the east coast and have ridden icy half pipes all our younger lives. I think uh, being able to adapt from the icy slopes of the east coast when we were younger to coming out here has really helped for sure. I think Shane only shot with us maybe two days up in Monashi, a day in Pemberton and two days at last frontier. He obviously puts down when the pressure's on and keeps the style smooth and strong. natural half pipe in the backcountry there. We were just like, dude, let's get pitted. He was like, yo, I'll throw up a big spray on the top and you can come through. It's like you're coming through a barrel. It's nothing crazy, but it's definitely by far my favorite shot in the film. And I think that's what snowboarding is all about, is having fun with your friends. I don't really film doubles angles much, but I think I'll try to in the future. <laughs> Woo! Dude. Shit! In the wake of Saturday's deadly avalanche, two people died and snowmobilers ignored avalanche warning. What has recently is a series of large natural avalanches. You say it's the worst I've seen in 30 years. After Last Frontier, when I had let my shoulder heal a little bit and I thought I'd be all right, we went to BC. The avalanche dangers have been super bad up here just because it snowed so much. I think it snowed like almost four feet in some spots. And so there's just all that weight on top of that old layer. When we were sitting waiting for the snow to get good, we went fishing, lots of massages, sitting in the sauna, lots of yoga, TV shows, computer games, ping pong, pool, pig or muff with the soccer ball, anything to keep our sanity for sure. There's only so many things you can do, so many activities before you start to lose your mind. So today's our first day of blue. It wasn't even supposed to be blue today, so I think it'll be pretty short-lived, but we're uh, gonna get after it this morning. It was Kazu and I riding. We were sharing heli time with John Jackson and Terry Hawkinson, and those guys are unbelievable. To be able to share the heli with those guys definitely gets you pumped to go out and, and shred hard and, and stomp. kind of makes you 
want to take your riding to that next level when the Cineflex is out and all this energy is flying around, all the angles are on you. All right, he's dropping. I think a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of the takeoffs are very blind. All you see is the valley bottom, like 1,000, 2,000 feet below. You can't really see your landing. And John Jay, uh, he went off in the blind takeoff and aired probably over 100 feet straight into a little tree and really messed himself up. And so he was out for the season after that. Yeah, somehow I landed like spot on this tree. Exactly. I didn't really have a good feeling about it dropping in, but it's so hard to pull off something and then you get down to the bottom and you're like, oh, that looks so good. Totally could have done that. I'm very fortunate to be um, moving around right now and walking. I love riding with Kazu. I don't get to ride with him enough. He's an amazing snowboarder. He's such a strong rider, the best style. Very zen-like. Nice day. I'm so lucky. Definitely an inspiration to a lot of people. He says it in the film, he's like, I'm so lucky to be out here, you know, it's like he realizes how amazing it is being out in those mountains and that's what you get to do for your living.